Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, it... You ready? All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, champ? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Right on the elbow. Why did you say? Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Big kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Boom. Under three minutes to go in round one. Got the single collar tie. <laughs> nice defense there. Huge block. Out of range with that one. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just missed with the left there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at 
some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on. Don't give them an opportunity to turn this thing around. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good punch lands. Straight right hand now just misses. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now we're just going to end the fight. Yeah. He's <laughs> lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw him up like that, he was only first in the And you know he still haven't found Alex Cobra's head. Oh! Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step